Oh, 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 let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. Let's do this. Oh, I'm going to get comfy. There we go. Right, let's make sure the sound is working. I keep on fucking up my sound. Is working. Man, I've left my coffee all the way over there. Go get your coffee. Right. So, 25th, 25th, 25th. It must be this one. Trial phase 14. Best girl is still alive. So, as a group, we should be happy. Oh, yes. I saved because it was getting late and I'd done a six and a half hour uh, stream. So, it was, yeah, it was a, it was a big one. Okay, right, I'll start reading very shortly. Just got a message, people to make sure that they know I'm online. Okay, what do I care about, Hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. You're all the embodiment of Hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is. That is a reality that can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do, you, what do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So anyway... Kyoko, did I say you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, what's the deal with that? Wah, wah. Huh? What's the matter? So I'll answer your question if you answer mine. What did you do? What did you do to me? <gasps> what? Hey, hey. Answer me, what did you do to my body? Okay. Ooh, wow, oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez. What do you mean? What did I do? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, what was that just now? Massmind did something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well. Meanwhile, oh, hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. I'm a little bit further away from the mic today. Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair, there was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. <laughs> What, then that means <laughs> that's probably hid it in there. Hey. I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we'd better go check. Indeed. Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Yoko looked back at us and said, hey, hey. I'm going to go alone from here. 
Everyone else, head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she quickly glanced. Uh, she quickly glanced. She glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I meant. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. And I'll go too. What? what? You? Please let me go. Standing here, arguing, just going to draw more attention to us. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thank you, Biakia. Well, well. But it's up to you now. Yo. We're going to go to the dining hall, okay? Uh, so Makoto and Kyoko are going to go together? <laughs> uh, does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. <laughs> I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. So we need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key Celeste had given her and unlocked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we saw... Good morning! It's been a while, hasn't it? It's safe, thank goodness. I've never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and... I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon, maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please wait while a just a while longer. And now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but... If we take a second, since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Yoko, okay, okay, please tell me, what are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come here with me? Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. So mysterious, Kyoko. I don't need to know. That just makes me even even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during the investigation? This time you disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that, it's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No? I believe in you. What? Believe in me? Isn't it obvious people believe in their friends, right? That's why I want to tell you. That's why I want you to tell me. I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. And maybe I can believe in you. Just a little more. A little bit more. Then... That's fine. Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. Oh. Okay, that was a bit more than a sip. I decided I had to confirm what she had told me with my own two eyes. So I waited for night time to come. And when it did, I went into action. But what did she say? Midnight. Cotonade. Correct. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way, way in the back, said there was a way in the back of the boys bathroom storage closet it was way in the back of the boys bathroom storage closet. but could Kyoko really be right about this storage closet in there oh storage Kyoko told me about, I have to see it for myself. Oh. Just normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about, could it really be hidden here?
She said it was in the way in the back of the storage closet. But, I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. Suddenly, as if I were being yanked. Oh. The shunk. At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Ooh. A bump. I'd fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back was like a revolving door and I'd made my way through to the other side. Just like Kyoko said. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. What's in here? There's a bunch of files that look like a volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything on... Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Oaks Peak Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing in here that's not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand. Before I had the chance to, but before I had the chance to look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. You must not leave. Um, this. You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I could understand if it said, I can't leave, or you must not leave. What is this? My head feels funny. Strange sensation, it's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen this somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... Ugh. Oh shit. A strange sound rang through my head. It felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth, and then... Darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. The room's empty now. God damn it, I didn't check what was on the table. Ugh. Ow, apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. All I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. Just a normal desk with normal drawers. An empty bookshelf. Empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone. What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain on my head began to spread across the rest of my body. But for now, I should go back to my room and get some rest. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself toward my room. Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. Ugh. The farther I walked, the more I felt. Things getting blurry, I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that, darkness. Hmm? As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound. It's coming from the gym. So I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the gym. The sound got stronger and stronger. Crack, trigger. Someone practicing. What's going on? Can't be nothing. Here, in the gym. Let's go on through. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. Sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Cha, back here. Before we race a battle beyond anything humanly possible, Sakura is fighting Monokuma. No, one side's not human, that's for sure. Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I've got to move or even breathe. Why you? What do you think you're doing? I asked 
you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal. The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <laughs> What am I looking at? What am I hearing? Hostage? And could it be Mastermind Spire's Next Generation Legend Stand Tall Galactic Hero? How many of us left? One, two, three, four, six, seven. Be continued. We received Super Robo Justice. Wanted. Wonder how many um. Perhaps... Oh. I don't have a time on how long I've been playing. Leon killed Siaka. Siaka. Onokuma killed Junko. And Leon got executed. And Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Fumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hafumi. And then she got executed. That brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. Now there's only five of us here. Only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. <laughs> That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? I mean, she's not done anything. Like, anything of note. Whereas both of the others have. Koto, are you okay? Hey, Heisen, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. I'm not sure if you've been keeping up with the story, if you want me to bring you up to speed. Oh, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. She's my kind of lady. That's like a deep impact style, meteor impact, extinction level event combination of foods. <laughs> okay. What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right, since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have the alter ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right, we have a plan ahead and think about the future. Oh, we have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. You know? Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? When this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious. Uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? There aren't any. They can't speak because there ain't gonna be any more murders. Uh, what makes you so sure? According to the spirits. I predicted it last night, since it revealed itself to me from the ether. There's no doubt about it. However, How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. That seems really low. 
Well, yeah, it's not like ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only going to get it right sometimes. I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. Fortune telling isn't a cult? Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Cattle what? He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. No, you're calling it an urban legend. As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. It all happened one day when I went to get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go home and headed home. And before long, the sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there. The entire burger started coming apart! He dropped it in front of a fucking lamppost. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I stormed back into the burger place and got it up in the manager's grill and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. And it got lost halfway through. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Oh, there's an echo. Okay. Give me one second. Um, how about now? Can you still hear the game? I swear, some days people... Sometimes having that on it echoes, other days it doesn't. I don't know why. Okay, if that's good, I'll continue. It's weird. Some some days I have to have Elgato and the desktop. Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. Don't be mean. I stink of. How dare you? You do stink though. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Anyway. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> but at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. But like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But well. to be honest, I wish Biakio and Toko were here for this too. Uh but they're so hard to deal with, they only think about themselves. Uh, yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Chapter 4. Oh, who is it? Who's that? Who's that? All Star Apologies. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Okay. Not many people to talk to, so that's one in their room. No, no just do a quick run around, quick jog around the spot. Gonna spend my Monokuma points. Oh, 
Was there even a fourth floor? I can't remember. Yeah, I think there's another stairwell. Okay, we've got a few to spend, so this might take a little while. Bow tie. Lucky. What is this? Oh man, I've already got that one. Well, I'm running low on people to befriend, so. Fifty percent chance, well, forty two percent chance. Oh, oh man, oops. Seems using multiple coins doesn't really make that much difference. Donuts! Well, I know who to give that to. If I get another day to hang out with the ladies, that is. Where's that? And I've got that one three times. I don't even know what it's about. Well, it's, it's a bow tie. I do know what it is. A bracelet? Almost done in here. Already got those. I mean, we've got donuts. I know Tina likes donuts, so we're good. That one, I think. I spent 10 on the last one. Let's make this a good one. It's gonna be a fucking bow tie. Right. Open. Okay, all our coins. Stairs we go. Oh, if we go the right direction, it would help. Mm -mm -mm.
I wonder how much better the second one is for like traveling around. I mean, this one, is, I mean, it's fine, but you can tell it came from a handheld first. I'm pretty sure this came out on the Vita first. Oh, I think it's right next to where I started. Excuse me. Again. Okay, take a look at the map. Okay, so we had any kind of scene regarding the next murder? When I say regarding the next murder, I just mean anything that's happened in this day. I don't think so. Okay, the floor looks weird. Now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. This is a girl's bathroom. It's pretty obvious just by looking at it. There's no reason to go in there. Gonna put our investigation shoes on. It's quite a big area. Go to the music room for it. It seems out by itself. Please don't have a dodgy music puzzle. Mind you, this game doesn't really have puzzles like that. Also, it's like an auditorium. Yay, best girls in here. Now, this uh, this is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think so... about the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah, well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked by who? Well, they came from behind, so I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. It's okay, I already saw what I needed to in there. Bye. And I have suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. He must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go... I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted you to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind would actually know about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room? That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then... You knew I was going to get attacked? You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What oh, do you think a boy is? Fine, I understand. And let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that, not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking. <laughs> But it was clear I wouldn't have any, have any say in the matter. So, then. so now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hmm. You think I wouldn't notice you're Very hiding wrong. something? Am I wrong? That's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right. There shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Yeah, I'll tell her. You haven't found, I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have any evidence for it. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just be making things much worse. Friends should keep secrets, but... Nothing worse. Oh, it's not. Let, it's not letting me make that decision. It's not letting me tell her. Okay, don't tell her. Or I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So that's your answer. However. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry. I really am. That's fine. Goodbye. I tried to tell her. The game wouldn't let me. 
With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. A fucking disco ball up there. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old. I bet it's worth a load of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. No good, the door's locked. Guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called Data Center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. Oh, my coffee. No! Oh, yeah, I caught that just in time. I saw Monokuma fly. La 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 la. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. I mean, the walls look like they're made out of snake print, which is kind of creepy. Aizen. Oh, hey, Bader. I was just going to ask people in the room if they think I should do Persona. I mean, Persona has a lot of reading in it, but that's that's like 70% story, 30% gameplay. Well, it's more gameplay than that, but... How's your, how's your evening going, Bader? Welcome, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. It's remarkably, remarkably, remarkably big shelf, but it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Okay, Hina, you know, just chill out. All kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. And what? They even have pro Proteinzyme X. What's that? A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh yeah? This is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up on some more prayers then. Gold mine, huh? Making stuff in the. They're making protein drink in the chem lab? Okay. Uh, Hino and Sakura seem to be lost in deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and, and the Massimo, but I can't while she's hey, with Hino. Huh. You need something? No, it's nothing. You sure? Okay then. Sakura is lost in conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura, blah, blah, blah. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? No, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. Saw you in the gym with the robot. I know you're up to something, lady. And I did mention, maybe last stream or the stream before, that Sakura is the only one that nothing had happened to them. They hadn't had any major part in the game. Now they have.
Molokuma said that he was holding something hostage. So the game, the game at least wants you to believe that Takara is the, the spy that is doing it against her will. This is the office. Of course, there's no hint of any teachers we'd normally be able to rely on. So, how was work, Beta? Did you have a good day? And how's your work going, Eisen? How's everyone's work going? Okay, lots of things to check it out. Okay, there's another picture of the students together. Oh, there's the picture on the floor. This picture. This is, again, something that proves that these kids knew each other before, I hate to use the term, but before this weird lockdown. What's Lester Fumi and Sayaka? The smiley faces of three people who are dead now. Classroom without metal plates over the windows. I reckon they were in this school for like a year, then something happened. I mean, that's what... The evidence it at least points towards. It's exactly the same. Yeah, I'm thinking about going back to the gym tomorrow night. Get off my butt and start exercising again. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. It's a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they're, any, they're able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? No, we've been here for 500 years. Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. Including Sayaka. No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> no, no, no. You're fake. Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. Forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too, huh? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question, is this picture real or is it fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use, it's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Beta. I hope I hope that's sorted out for tomorrow. Sometimes you need to get, you know, you need to clear the air like that. Oh, was that you put Heisen? You can finish up Remake. So how long are your, how long are your runs of uh, Remake? Is it like three, four hours long? I mean, for to complete the whole game. Although you probably be able to do it shorter each time, I suppose. Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real. Really real. If that's true, if that's the case. If that's the case, then it have been at this school for longer than you realise. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. And a coin! Flower on the desk. I'm just going to collect the coins. Four to five hours. That's not bad. I'm sorry to hear that, Beta. That sucks, man. That's, that's, it doesn't cost anything to have good manners, you know? And if you're at work, you might as well just... This is what I don't get with people that have a bad attitude at work. Just, you know, if you're at work, you might as well do the best you can. Also, when you do the best you can, no one can question you. Like, if my boss was to come to me and tell me I was being lazy, I'd be like, Ow. So I can easily stand up for myself, but when you're lazy or you're just, or you've got a bad attitude, just hurt yourself. Four to five hours casually. That's not bad. I mean, that's pretty short for the price of it, but... 
suppose it's meant to be replayed though, isn't it? It's kind of designed around it. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. But it's locked. The door is locked. Damn it. Already taking a good look at the things around here. There's a lot to think about for now. You should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. In the root of him, he told me to change my section of work. I've got a very short fuse for people that are rude. I mean, has he been working there as long as you, or did you say he was new, or? Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes, Hmm. So this is everyone? Well then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. I'll come to Best Girl last. Yeah. There's a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and it all it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was this all-star case a cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in that kind of stuff. Mm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. <coughs> there was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, there was also a bunch of uh, different poisons. Poison? Mm. They were all labelled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Um. And we probably shouldn't tell Byaki or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well... well, just in case, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... Just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However, it's Biakia. Won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Hmm. Found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and headmaster's room. Ah. The headmaster's room. That sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. We can somehow unlock the door and get inside. Right. Who cares about the stupid lock? How about that? It shouldn't be. It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down that measly door. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> no, please continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? Hell no, I didn't. Then what did you say? Because I know you were, weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war and education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. Do you have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um... uh, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. You're totally mad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around to having the, those thoughts... Ah! Oh, what's... Item on my wish list has gone on sale. I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. These school regulation bits are a bit boring. Seriously, breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There's, That's the rule. New rule has been added to regulations. Ah. But normally that means it's going to be mentioned somehow. Um, it's a kind of new, only two years. Okay, so he thinks he's your superior because he's been there for like two months longer. Fuck that guy. Mm. Hey man, I was scared for my life. I wasn't sure he was going to kill. I was sure he was going to kill me for serious. But if he goes out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt there must be something important in that room. But now that's a rule, then nothing we can do. Hmm. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words. Just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That's to be expected, though. Yeah, unless you've got feet made from sponge. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, uh... so Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. 
What's your deal? But it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Uh, this is bad. Mm. Does everyone said what they needed to say? Mm. I think so. Serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all. Let alone a way out of here. Uh. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone better do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say How something? About that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That's no. I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time the picture was of Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. Huh? huh? And they're all smiling. He's not smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So the pictures of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found the one that had Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. But how can that... Conspiracy. Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it... There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be, it's a fake. But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just be write that off as a lie, but... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come, on. come on, guys, stop fighting. All your good luck is going to float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? Looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. The Akia. <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. We're all so ugly before. <laughs> you shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry? Why are you apologising? Leave us alone, you're not part of this. That's, right. That's true enough, your problems aren't mine. We're all... We... We are and always will be completely separate. But whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. If I happened to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally say something useful? Hey. Yakia, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Uh, good mm. idea. A mixed bath? Okay. Mixed bath. Alter Ego really did tell him something. I wonder what it could have been. Bath time, bitches! Take me to the bathtub! Well, I got to the dressing room. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here? Here to come to hear what Alter Ego has to say, too? I already heard it with Master. <laughs> master? You don't have to keep saying it anyway. So what are you doing right now? Shut up, stop bothering me. Get out of the way, we have to talk to Alter Ego. Well. No, I made Master a promise. Mm. Promise? Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm going to do. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> that's what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. Uh. We just love being mistreated. <laughs> well, fine, if you really want me to be gone, by all means. What? Hey you guys, what's going on? Um, we'd like you to move. Yes. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. First mega masochist, now super sadist. Well. He's essentially our opponent right now. I'm not sure I trust her to keep her word, even if we if she I'm not sure I could trust her to keep her word, even if we did do what she asked. Kyoko Best Girl's upset with me, but the computer game wouldn't let me say anything else to her. Listen, Kyoko, about the picture from before. 
Ah, she still isn't talking. She's being very thorough about pretending I don't exist. No wrong button. Well, I guess we have no choice but to use force. A shot to the face would stand out. So go for the gut. But she's a girl. Who cares? I've already got a mountain of lawsuits waiting for me when I get out. What's one more? <laughs> hey, Afro Thunder, don't get any bright ideas, okay? <laughs> You're totally not adorable, so I'll make sure you live when I stab you. But it'll hurt like hell. Uh, um... I'm strong against women and children, but not women and children. Strong against women and children, but not women and children that seem strong. This guy is the worst. In the stationary section, other employees want it right on a paper A4 chair envelope. Yeah, okay. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. What? Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you, would you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger at a master for abusing me is evaporating. So even you realise it's abuse. Hey. It should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. You're really cool. Everyone come closer. I already told Byakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way, resting on the keyboard, my hands... Sorry. My shorts out. There we go. Oh, you had to see that. Or partially see that. I felt the same way, resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. A single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing the words, appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analysed the files and extracted all the useful information I could. And one particular important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of <coughs> Hope's Peak and create a communal life for them. I reckon... Here we go. My theory is the world was coming to an end. So... They put these the best people in the world into this school as the best hope for the future. Um, but one of them created a, a robot, and that robot went mad. Um, drugged them and woke them up and decided to play a game. Yeah, that's today's theory. It could change tomorrow. Okay, so back to it. Alter Ego says, to isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. <gasps> That's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organisation or whatever. No it was the school itself? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest? It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, yeah. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue the role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. Whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. Right. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, 
But why would Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. What could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all he said. And this is really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh wait. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Yoko's fingers moved even faster than they had done so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? No. That I still don't know, but I did find a clue. I think the one leading Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalised the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Peak's administrator, Edmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster's in the school? Okay. He's the one that bopped me over the head. Um, then that's got to be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. Serious. If we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? Bye. I'll find a way. Huh? Bye. No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter what the cost. So, um... Yoko, what's going on? I... Can't explain why, I just know that I have to find him. He has to? Yoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. Maybe she is the headmaster. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. She said that what have they done to her body? Maybe they swapped minds. Um supervisor told you when they want something they must write their name. Yeah, that makes sense. You need a you need a written record of um, who needs what. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure and started to typing again. Did you learn anything else? I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can get from there. I'm really sorry. And it really is all over. Wait, Altico seems to have more to say. Um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. I haven't seen Celeste Fumi or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. What? I see. Certainly, I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything anyway. about. Well, then, I guess that's that. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. I began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. And maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But I feel kind of sorry for him. Your colleague thinks it's not necessary and I'm making... It's harder for people that I am. Uh... No, I completely agree with you, Beta. I mean, you need a record. Because if, if, let's say, all the pens disappear, or if all of, like stationary disappears then you need to know where it went that's that's not making it harder that's just that's just tracking where things go but you feel sorry but he's just a computer program right well i know but still he did everything he could for us you know hmm. i mean yeah it did but that's what a computer program is designed to do you don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down do you well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey, hey come on. It's just a program. You can't... You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? 
But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. At the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... Uh, okay. So, anyway. So, don't so anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted. I don't remember where. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who, is, who isn't your friend. You really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Um, I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to closing of Hope's Peak. Nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to this school. What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Be... Maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us know what the school had been that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that, I suppose it's not totally impossible. What What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. But right now there's only one path to open so... of us. We should find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, exactly. So you're keeping a record of it. I'm on your side there, buddy. You've got to keep a record of these things. You have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Right. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. What? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Yoko? When she said headmaster, I get that feeling again. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now, we should get out of here. Um, oh yeah, good idea. Yeah. Then I... Oh. Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. biaki has gone. Gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Um, good call. As we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. My heart is pounding, pounding, pounding away. It's pounding with anger. You're not still mad about that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't even matter. I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath. That doesn't matter either. It's building, I feel it building. My head's about to boil over with rage. I get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. It's this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? Be careful, he just chanted the incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. No, it's not a saying at all. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Dong, bing, bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Correct. So it's night time. Okay. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at night time. 
I know it'll still make. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I was lost in thought. I got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept spinning around in my room. In, around, around in my mind. The administrators of Hope Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind all the uh, behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. But I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Monokuma Theatre. Let's talk a bit about where I was at where I was at that's before I became a bear. Where I was at before I became a bear. At first, I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department said yesterday I tried being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push this for forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prawn I'd like, like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself, plus someone might come along and step on me. So then the ladies totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? But ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Breakfast meeting? Don't necessarily expect me to go. Right? As long as I'm here, I should ask Biaki what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I better not. The surveillance camera would catch us. What? So, um, well. Hmm. I mean, do you get along with this guy and he's just being a dick every now and then, or is he always annoying? Because if he's always annoying and you've got the chance to change section, then if you think you'll be happier, do it. You can always make money, you can't make more time. Good hey, morning, Hina. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know when you said Alter Ego was your friend? No, not you, Siri. I was thinking the same, but when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. Uh, so thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. You're useful, like totally normal. But when the time comes, bam, you bust out your special That's, power. I mean... I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like you always do something about it. Even before yesterday, are you talking about the class trials and stuff? I mean, that stuff is just, it's just kind of took care of itself, you know? Mm. It totally um... didn't. With your power and Sakura's... And everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, there's only like fucking five of us left. I am right. All right. And now, now that we've got the fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right. Even if the road is long, if we don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. Maybe we're all robots. All I know is, best girl Kyoko is not happy with me. It makes me sad inside. Oh, 
As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your problem? You think your eyes will just rot by looking at me? Fine, then don't look at me. I think she's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting, that's all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? Jackie has said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm going to start eating, I'm going to force it down into my stomach, I'm going to eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Yeah. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Yeah. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You, you're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. Present of Dirty Dirtlandia. You don't understand. The you're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running a filthy mouth like that all morning. Filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. No use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Shut up. You're in that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight sex extracurricular activities only put us in even more danger. Please. Stop it. You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk tight. Okay. Um. Yeah, definitely speak with him, Vader. Because if you do your, heart, your job hard, uh, you know, you work hard at your job, then, you know, he should show you some respect. Go for the extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. And 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 it's amazing, indecent ideas are coming to me, one after another. So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's leave Toko alone, she's gone a little funny from all her pent up frustration. Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Or anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. If you want to hit someone, hit Master, please hit him. But please, please let me watch you hit him. I think it's best if I stay far away from her. Sure, man, it's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like you. Better than having one sue you, like I did. Jeez, Hero, you've lived a pretty brutal life. Uh, I feel dizzy. I seriously can't handle dirty stuff like that. Looks like Hina had an unexpected weakness. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, now that's Kyoko's dumped in Makoto's trying it to win Sakura's heart. Are you are you in heat, Makoto? Don't, don't care who they are, as long as they've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister of Wild Beast Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Can I talk, wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Uh, are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Huh, is that... It must be because of that battle. Um... But it must be pretty bad if you have to go and rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it. That's true, protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Koto, I don't know what you want to... You want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. No, I need to talk to her today. Yeah, I get it. I'm sorry. Sorry. No. Well, for now, let's eat. Sakura's going to be dead tomorrow. Eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? How come? What's your problem? So I don't usually eat in front of other people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. The heck? What about your family? Mm -hmm. Oh well, yeah. I used to live with my dad, my mum, and my mum. Huh? What? You had two mums? Yeah, I mean, is could you try and get a different job, Beta? I mean, if you're not happy there... 
I mean, I moved jobs and I get paid less, but I'm happier where I am now because I was sick of dealing with rude people. Well, that's just how things work. That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare, how dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours? Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. Yeah. Best girl's not talking to me. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. I have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Ooh. Free time activated. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I always check the bin. Every new day, there's something in there. There we go. I'm busy, I don't have time to waste. She's not talking to me. It's gonna be too late. By the time I get to tell her, someone's gonna be dead. Or she'll be dead. Hmm. Pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Uh. Ah, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Yes. You got it. You want to do some stretches with me? I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I, and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely. I'm going to give her a donut. Flotation donut. Not even a real donut. Gigantic donut that doubles as a flotation device, and naturally you can snack on it while floating out to sea. It comes in a variety of styles. Naturally. <laughs> How thoughtful this is why I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with sewing, I gave her makes me happy. Oh. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it. Definitely gonna watch it. Oh, this sucks. Huh? What happened to her? She seems way more depressed than usual. Hey, Hina, what's wrong? Um. Oh well, I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of this. I got fat. I figured. I'm so fat, fat from every angle. I hate this. I hate it. I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fatty fat attitude. But what if I just keep on getting fatter and fatter and it never stops? I'm sick of this. I just get disgustingly mor morbidly obese and then nobody wants to marry me. It makes me depressed and I get even fatter and eventually I can't stand up on my own. And then I die, sad and alone. Nobody notices. Finally, I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot. I think maybe you're worrying a little bit too much? Besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the what same. The you're just saying that. I'm not a total ch uh, You're just saying that. I'm a total chub monster. Perfect circle. No, seriously, I'm not just saying that. Then, I'm still hot? Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Really? Then I might still make it out alive? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you make it out alive. <laughs> Thank God, seriously. Thank God. Okay. 
but I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of now, I'm on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm going to get so thin, it'll scare the crap out of you. Well, don't overdo it, okay? okay? Don't try and stop me. I've made up my mind, and my willpower is rock hard. So now my resolve is even more rock hard. You got it. Poor choice of words. Um, but before all that, time to get stuffed on donuts. <laughs> Okay, well, what I was going to do was I was just going to watch the first anime, then I was going to start the second game. So, that's that's fine. That sounds... yeah. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really in Hina's skill set. Hina's report card has been updated. The maximum number of skill points has increased. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. Well, I appreciate you telling me. I definitely, yeah, I won't I won't skip forward. I'll stop after I've watched the first series. Every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from a famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. We've got to do the same thing, cooperate so we can survive. Hmm, should I hang out with Hina for a while? Yes. Yeah. Wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? Maybe we're gonna go run around the school. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. Well, wow. literally yeah. is that. Hina and I grow a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, definitely. Prismatic heart attack. I'll take just go check. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I've only got one flotation thingy. I was going to give it that before. I don't know. It's, it's kind of sporty. Most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price. It's the most sporty thing I've got. Can I keep this? Right? Right? <sighs> Yay, ultra stoked. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Um... Hey Makoto, can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? Mm. I wanted to ask you something. Sure, what is it? Well... Oh, um, I mean... So, um... Can you just come to my room when you get a chance? Right here is like... Huh? Okay. okay, see you later. Better not stand me up. Without bothering to wait for a response, Hina ran off. What's going on with her inviting me to her room like this? She's acting really strange. Well, I don't have much choice, do I? I headed to Hina's room like she asked. Hmm. Where'd she get all this stuff? Oh, it's probably from the storeroom, I suppose. Um, sorry for making you have to come here. Oh, I don't mind. What's going on? Um, I just wanted to ask you something. Will you promise to give me a real answer? Sure. Well, what do you think about me? Huh? I mean, me as a woman. What do I think? Hmm. What I'm trying to say um, is... Do I know have womanly charms? Of course she does. Ridiculous. Well, I mean, wait, where's all this coming from? People have always told me how I'm not ladylike. I mean, I can't really disagree. I'm All I'm good at is sports, exercise, and physical stuff. I think maybe that's just because I've never really been in love. Since I've never fallen in love, how can I say I'm a woman? That's a weird sentence. So that's why, um, 
I want you to be my boyfriend. Okay, that came out of nowhere. Uh, no, I mean, not like my real boyfriend, just like a practice run. Practice run? I mean, I'm not a woman because I've never been in love and I can't fall in love because I'm not a woman? What? It's like a vicious cycle, you know? Okay. So my strategy is I'll do a practice run to draw out my feminine side. That way I'll be in the perfect position to fall in love. I'm asking you, begging you to help me practice and pretend to be my boyfriend. But I mean, seriously? But... You're the one. You're the only one I can ask, Makoto. I mean, how many other guy friends do I have? Please. Uh, this is which which game is that, Beta? Because this this originates on the Vita. It was on the Vita first, then it came to PS4 or PS3. Please, I'm on my hands and knees here. It won't even take that long. Hina seems really serious about this. Fine, I guess I can help for a little while. <laughs> you mean it? All right. So, what am I supposed to do? Mm. Uh, good question. Um, <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just get started. Whatever. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um... Oh, darling, you're home. Are you ready for dinner, or shall I get a bath going? Wait, Hina, that's more of a stereotypical 1950s married couple thing than anything else. Huh? Oh, different approach then. Mm. Well, Terrible. you lied to me. You said you left your wife. That's even worse. Huh? Really? No way. You mean I can't even get a practice run right? Was that the fatal blow? Seriously, what am I supposed to do? Just become that one crazy lady who gives up on love? Hold on it. Let's dial it back. First of all, do you really need to go through all this practice yes, stuff? I mean I told you I'm not ladylike. Even if that's true, I'd say it's just part of your charm. Huh? If you push and get all nervous, that's totally not you, right? Personally, I think you're just fine, just the way you are. Because I mean that's who you are. Huh? And falling in love is supposed to be fun, right? If you stress about it, where's the fun in that? I mean, not that I know anything about love either, so maybe that just doesn't mean anything. Um... No, it does. If you're saying... If it's you saying it, it does mean something, maybe you're right. I shouldn't push it, I should just be you me. I just have to wait until I meet the right person, like Jason Statham. <laughs> I mean, he was, wasn't he, Jason Statham, he was Olympic, I think he was Olympic standard swimmer, wasn't he? So it does, it does fit her personality. My housemate likes Jason Statham as well. He's one of the League of Future Husbands. Um, you have a very specific taste. I think you'll be waiting a while on that one. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Makoto. You've definitely helped lift the weight of my chest. And on top of that, I kind of had fun practicing with you. I might ask you to help me again someday. No, I think that's enough practice yeah. for me. Oh, really? <laughs> and if it wasn't practice, huh? <laughs> Kidding, I'm just jerking you around. It's a really bad choice of words, this lady. A joke, huh? Well, joke or not, I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot closer to Hina. After going through all this with her, I think I understand her a lot better. I think we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Mm. So what's your type, huh? What kind of girls are you into? Huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't get embarrassed. Um, I'm probably gonna... I would like to buy hard copies of them. Because they're single-player games. Because I... That's one thing I like doing. I mean, if the game's on offer on Steam or PlayStation, I like to test it there. And then if I really like it, I'll get the hard copy as well. Eventually. So, you know, if I get stuck with no internet, then I've got lots of games. Oh, come on, don't get embarrassed. <laughs> Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You have now unlocked ambidextrousness. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. So there's, there's, so there's basically 15 or 14 skills I can get in this game, and I've got three of them, which is pretty shit. I've done pretty badly. Hina and I got, some, got more fired up about love than I expected. And when I went back to my room... Excuse me. And then I went back to my room. Right, so that's her maxed out. Attention, attention! Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, 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 quickly! Okay, he's got another thing that's to force us to kill each other. He made a special announcement and asked us to come to the gym. He sounded pretty serious about it too. 
Oh, uh, yes, I do want to play Despair Girls. Huh. For the last one, everyone else is already inside. Aren't you going to go in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling. Probably Monokuma did call us together after all. Akra? Well, then. Koto. If something happens to me. Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never so mind. Then. I, I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um, Sakura? Everyone must have heard the announcement. Once we were all gathered together at the gym, it began. Okay, let's get the show on the road. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again. <laughs> no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see it, just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're all here to talk about motive. I'm not here to talk about motive. The hey, reason I gather you, gather you all here is that I could get rid of my grudge. A grudge? Why? We have, a, we have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't really recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang? <laughs> Stop beating around the bushes. Tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Biakia, you've already told everyone that how one of you might be working as a spy for me, Come right? On. Yeah, so what about it? In other words, well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. Hey, what? Um... So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura. He said it so openly, it made, me, made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What, what did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What, is well, what are you talking about? You're a liar. There's, there's no way Sakura is a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Roast her, boiler, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what, I'd been, what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Um, the heck? What does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. That is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. You're well, he's wrong. wrong. There's just no way. Sephora, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? And he's being serious for serious. Ogre's been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. So you must have been lying to us all the time. Huh? It's not true. Sakura's probably being controlled. There's got to be some reason. You didn't have a choice or was just forced to do it. Yeah, someone's being held captive. Fucking bear just said it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind's probably threatened her somehow and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. Yay! Well, what? You're talking like you know that... For a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw all that. The Mastermind took a hostage. So you were... Oh, this is the, the 15th seat. The empty seat. Or 16th seat. Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your own mind to betray the Mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? 
She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? would never do that. Okay. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well, sorry. sorry, I can't. I don't even know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please. She's telling the truth. You have to believe don't her. Make me repeat my Shut up. I'm not finished questioning Come her. On. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? Ugh. I was told oh. to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're wrong, wrong, I'm telling you. We'd never do that. You don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? Terrible. It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. However, How do you intend to do that? Okay. By destroying the mastermind. Dun dun dun. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Uh -huh. Hold on, what do you mean? If you both go down. Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Uh -huh. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth confiding in you again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might you might think less of me. But, but... I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Someone's going to die. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura, it's make me repeat myself. over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, she's not our enemy. Why? Why doesn't anyone understand why? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know she, who she really was. Calm down. Let it go for now. Hina talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? Anyway. Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Akra is the spy. She is the traitor. Byakia says Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy, she's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in her? How? As long as you're human, there will always be, will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player during, touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets. Things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear. Um, I haven't taken it off. I don't know why it's not there. Um, let me take a quick look. Oh, yeah, the button isn't there. Bearing. Let me just take a look a second. My browser sources are offline. Oh. Sounds going mad. Um, I will try to bring that back for Wednesday. 
I've just checked and it says that I've got to re I've got to fix the browser source, so I will do that. I'll do that tomorrow. You will have Timmy back, don't worry. I think I've, it's fixed on the PC side of things, but not the PS4 side of things. I thought I had duplicated the source, but I obviously hadn't. What would you like the fact to be about, Heisen? Papayas? <laughs> Fucking love papaya. Um, okay. Fact about papayas. Papayaya. Um, papayas. Give me a couple minutes, I'll see what I can come up with. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Okay, so my fact about papayas. My ridiculously true fact about papayas. Um, there was a rumour, a really bad rumour, in fact, that was going across lots of Asia um, many moons back, probably about seven, eight years back, that papayas, papaya fruit, cured cancer. Which is a fucking terrible, completely untrue, um, just unfounded lie. Um, but the truth is um, that papaya did does cure something. And that is papaya cured us having eight days a week. Um, no one remembers it because the days were taken back and it worked retroactively. But everyone in the planet on the eighth day of the week, which I don't remember the name of it because it was removed from all of our memories. Um, on the eighth day of the week, everyone on the planet was told to eat some papaya or drink papaya, whichever was like, whichever we could. And when the world collectively ate papaya on the eighth day of the week, it actually removed that day of the week from our memories and from history. So papaya is a cure for one thing. It's the cure for the eighth day of the week. And that's why we've got to continue consuming it otherwise um you know you might think it's a great idea to have it eight days in the week it's not because the powers of the bee that made that a work day because it was like monday to friday but it was the day after that was technically this eighth day so thanks to papayas we don't have to work six days a week we generally work five and there's your your facts heisen that it cures the eighth day of the week I I tried eating them like fresh and I was like this doesn't taste great but the juice papaya juice oh my god it's so nice and it cures the eighth day of the week so get ready to greet another beautiful day I'm worried about Sakura I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall Coco can talk to me now. Oh. Coco, good morning. Still ignoring me. She's really mad at me. But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around her has gone really heavy. You can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Well, if nothing else, I need to catch up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Patch things up with her, even. Exactly, Beta. Exactly. Uh, um. Uh, Makoto, are you okay? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> the dullard. Coco, Piakia, what are you doing here? What the heck? You're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. Mastermind? Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Uh, where is she? Stop talking. All I know is if she was here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why do you hate her so much? Literally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the Mastermind upsets the balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What did stupid. You say? This is a life or death game, is it not? Terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think about things. Think things through. 
Why did the mastermind reveal Sakura was the spy to us? The they were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monoku said it, an eye for an eye. However. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive in the mastermind wanting uh, the next motive the mastermind wanting to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, in other words this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you stand there and argue that, like children? That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the mastermind, like she said, that would go a long way in my mind. What are you Idiot. You'd really ask her to do something that dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Interesting. It wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die... That's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Biakia. In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? It would put the whole problem to rest. Slap. What the hell? You disgust me. You're... You're a monster. To say something like that? It should have been you. <gasps> you should have been the one to die. What? I should have died? Interesting. Interesting. And you were planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can, can't can do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. Stupid cow, how dare she? Would die a thousand deaths, no, a million. Though she was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. But other people call having feelings, Biakia, and all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. Friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have oh, Kyoko's you. fucking... You don't mess with Kyoko. She's best girl. And I would happily elude its attempts. <sighs> so, um, you know... How about we uh, eat? Maybe it's now. Now's not a good time. You know? huh. Without without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. You. So what should I do today? Well. Let's see. There's not many people left to befriend. I'm going to try and befriend um, the monster lady again. Where is everyone? Alright, I'll try and get Bi uh, Yoko to be my friend again. She won't. Because story won't let her. I'm busy, I don't have time to waste. Yeah, didn't think you were gonna talk. get out of here and I'd have much to look at not that I'd have much to look forward to if I did get out should I hang out with Togo for a while yeah what's your problem aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity Second. Should spend some time with Toko. How can I grow a little closer today? Would you like to give her a present? Oh. I always think there's going to be like a cutscene. There wasn't. 
it's after you give them a present. And I have no idea what she would like. Oh yeah, I tried giving her the scissors last time. She seemingly hated it. Okay, give me the towel. Sorry, but I'm already engaged to Master. So I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't... If you, I don't mind if you think think about me. Being Toko so pleased with something I gave, gave her makes me happy. That's a bit weird. She's just standing there. Does she want something? But well, she's not saying anything. Maybe she should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko? <laughs> what, you want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know... We're trapped in here together. We're gonna be friends. It'd be nice to get to know each other. Now, what'd you just say? Um, after that part about being trapped, we're gonna be what? Uh, friends? <laughs> what do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. I've already been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Come on, you don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me, even if I, even I know that. That's not true. Fine, then tell me. Tell you what? You know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you want all kinds of literary prizes and stuff. Then tell me, what am I good at? Tell me what my genre speciality is. If you really want to convince me that you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre the ultimate writing prodigy specialise in is romance. It's romance, of course. Oh, you actually knew. Your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of the hottest men holes, right? How did you know all that? No way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. Coco ran off screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Report card has been updated. Ooh. You just unlocked the skill vocabulary. Oh, so I thought I fucked up last time, but I couldn't have done. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Normally you get a cutscene. You get a skill. If I say cutscene, as close as you can get to a cutscene in this, you still have to control the pace. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like sitting here. I should go somewhere. Um... Be maxed out then? Take a look. Oh no, she's not maxed out. I got a skill, but she's not maxed. Okay. We'll go see her again. She's hiding. Is she in her room? Oh, she's out and around somewhere. Oh, there she is. Yoko's best girl. But I'm not sure if what you're telling me there is a, a spoiler or not. So be careful. I don't want any spoilers. But Kyoko is best girl. I said that from the very beginning. From the very beginning she was best girl. When are we ever going to get out of here? <laughs> not that I have much to look forward to even if I did get out. I'm sure to hang out with Toko. Yeah. What's your problem? What, more pity? Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? I spent time with Toko. I'll grow a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. Let's start from the bottom this time.
No. 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 Ooh. Oh, well, that's what I should have given her before. I've got two of them. Once belonged to a late great novelist, they say the writer's soul is sealed within the pen and any user can only write one sentence. I have become something not human. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm already engaged to Master, so I can't go on a date with you. You're okay with that. Seeing Toka so please has made me happy. I thought Toka totally hated me. But it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. Hey, Toko. Hey, what, do you have a question? you have a question for your classmates? Uh, is she happy? Well, I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I just write. I'm serialised, but I'm always really busy. And when I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot like you. Ah, damn it, I had to go and open my big mouth again. You must hate me for sure now, right? No, it didn't really bother me. But I can't believe you actually write novels and that people all over the world read them. How do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or are you stupid? What? I told you I didn't write the night I write romance novels. How can I use my real life experiences for that? It's all from my imagination. It's just delusions. Delusions that you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do it in real life. Why are you saying you can't write romances unless you already have lots of experience in love? No, not at all. It's okay, I'm used to people making fun of me. But Someday I'll show them. It'll get pr it'll get pretty someday. I'll I'll get pretty someday, and I'll show them all. Boiling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. Report card has been updated. Skill points has been increased. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Someone's gonna die. Oh. I mean, me saying someone's going to die is kind of obvious. That's hmm. what the game's about. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night time already. I feel somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Shit's gonna happen tonight! Let's get. Ugh. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course. And she shot back. Okay then, how about we make you an extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. So what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Highly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's, today's light-speed world. Do your research, lady. Excuse me. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially. I think Sakura's going to be dead. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Mind you. What's his name? The, uh, the clairvoyant guy. He's not had much of a part to play this kind of chapter, so maybe. 
I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others one more time. me teleport. I think I'm gonna get something to happen. Yeah. Wah. Huh? Is that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Is he really? Ah, oh, awesome. Huh. Is it for Sony or Microsoft or is it who's he doing it for? Oh, my bitrate's gone through the roof. I'm just going to hold on a minute. Hopefully, um, it'll level itself out. Oh, there we go. It should be back now. Amakoto, we've got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look. Gross finger shook as he pointed. Who's dead? No one looks dead. No, she's still alive. No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden, they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table and that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little bit too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. Look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? <laughs> That's me doing a voice. Not there you adorable. go. Anyway, you totally non-adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight. Anyway, you totally non-adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. My well, I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, hero. Help me. Um... Good thing. <laughs> Is there any pictures of this Kojima game? I... I... I imagine he'd be great at doing a horror game. Genocide <laughs> Jill's gone mad. Well, I suppose she's already mad. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, it was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know? Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic, that makes me sound even more hostile. <laughs> Man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive. I was about to see someone's life come to an end. If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again, which would suck. I love sleep. Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Yeah. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Action! Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? At first, I just tried to ignore it. You let that jerk, let jerk buttholes get you all the time, you never have the time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Serious. A dozen times isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack just... Let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I couldn't take it anymore. Because, because... Because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Huh? huh? Sakura? Uh, You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. Not, not a big okay. deal. Makoto, hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it isn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented murder of fiends fault. Oh, to hurt Hina. Damn you. Leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you? What is this? 
I'm okay, really, it's just a scratch. No forgiveness. Unforgivable. I can't forgive this. Here, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't hate you exactly. Why? Somebody save me. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? What's all this noise about? Yoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. Seem... I gather that something happened? Yoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, Sakura. Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... You're gonna make up? Be friends with Bestie now, come on. Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? That's yeah, I figured. Fine. It's fine. Huh? Ooh. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then you do forgive me for not being able to talk about In it? You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you talked to her and made sure you... And you didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dozer! How's it going? A thing like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. If that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. That's I'm sorry. Fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I... I may have overacted. Reacted. How are you doing, Dozer? Huh? Anyway. anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. We discussed the, uh, that issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. What did you talk to you about something else? What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you for asking. I'm a little bit tired, so I'm probably not going to be on for too much longer. But I've had an all right day. Mondays are always busy where I work. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, getting uh, setting a brisk pace. Uh, Kyoko? I hurried to catch up to her. We walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her. And eventually we arrived at the bathroom. Oh no, in the changing room. The dressing room. So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right, it has to do with alter ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Okay, let's talk to Alter Ego. Um. Hello? Oh, so um, it's just the two of you, Kyoko and Makoto. Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it that he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, uh, oh yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Ooh. Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied. Why? Okay. Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But just to stop here? I think I finished my work. I don't want that. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's what Master would want too. So to help everyone else solve the mystery of this school, the only way I can help is to connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the Mastermind would find out about, about it and they'd find you and then they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? I realise how dangerous it could be, but still I have to do this. 
I'm scared, but I can handle this. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You, you might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can answer. I can say this. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Yoko? To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the mastermind really will notice it. Makoto. But let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But hey. he's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that's what he wants. Fight alongside his friends. Now, if... if you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them that you, they're your friends. So, um, hey, are you guys fighting? It's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides where there's no surveillance cameras. The, the toilet. Secret room. That's it, the secret room you told me about. Is there internet in there? I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. But I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an ethernet port on the wall. However... However, just because there's no camera, that doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego and Mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Right. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Yoko. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him in what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you, thank so you. Then. Let's get started. It's going to be a little cramped for you, old ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. Huh? It tickles. <laughs> Shh, you can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room until we get there. You have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood, your command has been implemented. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there's a bunch of different cables in the desk of the drawers. Drawers of the desk. <laughs> there might be a network cable in there. However, Assuming the Mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. Shouldn't you check first before taking the computer? Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Fine. Okay. I'm going to log off in about five minutes. <laughs> Right. That room was on what floor was that? Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey Makoto. Wow. Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Okay. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go and make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful. I thought she'd made, uh, I'd made her mad. So, oh. why are you standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. <laughs> yeah. Well, I might just chill out for an hour before bed. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. I found it. A network cable. Or I might play Street Fighter for like 20 minutes. Let's see if I can try and rank up. Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. Pulled out the laptop and connected it to the Ethernet port with the cable. 
And that should do it. Um, I think it works. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world if I can. I'll see if I can call for help. But please just wait a little while longer. Just hold on tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave with, with one last thing. No matter what, we're going to get out of here. You and the, all the rest of us as friends. Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. We're just going to leave it there? Makoto. Okay. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the um, documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was unintentionally a mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. And there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore. That much was for sure. Yeah. Ah, Kyoko, yes. Um, so we're just going to split up? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't it a little too direct? Ooh. Did I hesitate and fumble or something? You're so high maintenance. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about, like, what are you going to do about Safra? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we do? So... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Correct. Ego... All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. It's our only option. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. It's almost payday! In the real world, that is, it's almost paid. I'm kind of tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving, alter ego, but I was way more tired than I realised. So before long at all, crashed the fuck out. I completely dozed off. Ding dong. Huh? Someone's at the door. The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my, pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Okay, I'm not going to answer the door. Dun dun dun! I'm going to end the stream there. We can find out who's at the door tomorrow. Okay, thank you everyone for coming to watch and coming to hang out. Um, I will be continuing on Wednesday. Hopefully it'll be a bit of a longer one. I might do a chill. Excuse me. I might do a chill stream tomorrow. It depends. But we'll see. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you again soon. And I will try to remember to fix the Timmy button. Um, everyone have a great day. Thanks a lot. Cheers and bye bye. Cheers and gone. Cheers and gone and bye bye. <laughs>